Must be Friday evening. It must be. Here we go, <laughs> folks. A local band that's been touring the world for 45 years is now the subject of a new documentary. Tonight, the movie will make its premiere at the Old Bethesda Movie Theater. News for Mark Seagraves is live there tonight with their story. Hi, Mark. Hey, good evening, Doreen. They're Bethesda's own Nighthawks, and for two generations, they've been touring the world with their special brand of roots and blues music. And tonight, there'll be a celebration, and the Nighthawks will do what they do best, play the blues. Well, it's a bit of a homecoming, uh, with a lot of a homecoming. Uh, Hanging out in the garden of his Kensington home, Mark Winter recalls the more than four decades he spent on the road with the Nighthawks, playing with some of the most successful musicians of their genre, like Muddy Waters, Greg Allman, and George Thorogood. Well, I was really knocked out by them. They were, they were just so... They were just so sure of themselves, not cocky. The documentary, Nighthawks on the Blues Highway, traces the history of the band, which got its first big break on Bethesda's WHFS radio. They were part of the fabric of who we were on WHFS, and they were a huge part of the local scene in D.C., huge. The movie includes rare footage of the original band in the early days, and the current lineup that's still touring. How do you keep a band together for 40 years? How do you keep a name out there? And that's one of the things that the film is concerned with. Um, what does it take? There are triumphs, there are tragedies. And the movie reveals the tension between the band's co-founders, harmonica player Mark Winner and guitarist Jimmy Thackeray, that led to Thackeray's leaving the band. And the movie takes you on the road with the current lineup, which is still playing concerts around the world. Well, I don't know about another 45. I'd like to make another five. I'd like to make it even 50. So Mark Winner and the Nighthawks, as you can see, show no signs of slowing down. He wants to make it to at least 50 years. If you want to see it for yourself, get on down here to the Bethesda Blues and Jazz Supper Club. The movie starts at 7.30, and the Hawks take the stage at 9 o'clock. Jim Durin. Big night. Wow. That sounds great, Mark. And Mark, you're already in position to enjoy the rest of the evening. Good uh, good planning on your part. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not giving up this fight. <laughs> right. Thank That's you, Mark. Great. Have fun. Next, a shot.